Hi friends. For people who celebrate Passover, it starts uh, in the next week or so. So today we're going to read Happy Passover Rosie. The night before the first Passover Seder, Rosie and her brother Max hunted for stray breadcrumbs with wooden spoons. Grandma dusted the shelves with a feather, while Grandpa held a glowing candle and a small box for the crumbs. The next morning, birds were chirping when Rosie opened her eyes. The air felt like spring. Rosie and Max helped Grandpa burn a box of chimettes, while Grandma stirred the soup she was making for the Seder meal. She sighed. Mmm, these matzo balls are light and fluffy. Max whispered, remember last year when Papa made them and they were like bowling balls? Rosie giggled, watching them float. Before sundown, family and friends arrived. Aunt Gertie gave Rosie a huge wet kiss on the cheek, and Uncle Jaime nearly crushed her with his big hug. When it was time for the Seder, Rosie sat next to her cousin Benny. Grandpa picked up the three matzahs in the blue velvet pouch embroidered with gold thread. He broke the middle matzah, the afikuman, sorry if I say that wrong, in half and wrapped it in a cloth. When no one was looking, he hid the matzah. Rosie wondered where and when. She thought she had been watching Grandpa the whole time. When it was time to ask the four questions, Rosie was the youngest, so she was supposed to ask them all by herself. She had been practicing with Max for weeks. Rosie looked at the faces around the table. Mama smiled as Rosie began. Why is this night different from all other nights? On all other nights we eat bread and matzo or matzo. Why tonight only matzo? Papa smiled also. Max helped a little with the second question. Sarah whispered the next one when Rosie forgot a word. Rosie and Benny said the last question together. Mama and Papa were very, very proud. Everyone said the ten plagues and sang Deanu. While Grandpa recited the Haggadah, Rosie spent most of her time under the table, crawling between her aunt's and uncle's legs. She peeked out when it was time for the bitter herbs, the harrow set, and finally the meal. The family was so stuffed nobody could move an inch except Rosie and Max and their cousins, who ran around searching for the hidden matzah. Rosie looked under the pillow on Grandpa's chair. I found that afflicamon, she cried. Grandpa took Rosie aside and gave her a shiny silver coin. And he winked. Rosie gave Grandpa a big smile. Then he poured a glass of wine for the prophet Elijah and left it in front of an empty chair. Rosie and Max played with Benny and Sarah. Suddenly there was a loud knock at the front door. Grandma opened it. Outside it was very dark. Is it the ghost of Elijah? asked Uncle Jaime. Rosie trembled. Uncle Jaime began to chuckle. Then Aunt Gertie. Then Mama and Papa and all the cousins. From beneath the coat came Grandpa. The relatives laughed very hard. Rosie didn't laugh at all. She wouldn't go near Grandpa for a long time. Oh, I think he scared her. Grandpa came over to Rosie when he saw she was feeling better. Sweetheart, I'm sorry I scared you. See, it's me, Grandpa. I'll always be your Zayde, forever. And he touched his hand to Rosie's. Can I give you your special gift now? Rosie nodded. Grandpa gave her a kiss, a hug, and her own hegada. Rosie hugged her Grandpa. Happy Passover, Rosie. Happy Passover, Grandpa. Grandma came over and hugged Rosie also, and Grandma too. Her apron still smelled of chicken soup. That was a good story, friends, and it had some new words in it that we hadn't heard before. So if you celebrate Passover, I hope you have a wonderful Passover. And I thank you all for listening to my story. Have a great day. Bye-bye.